Hi, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. Uh, we are, we've just come back to Galivia, and we're going to do the somewhat dull activity of mapping out a barren icy waste. Um, because it tells us where an ice keep is, but if all that was here was an ice keep, then I think there wouldn't be a world at all. I could be wrong. Um, wrong about that. But let's find out. So the first thing I want to do is put in my basic axes, which are probably going to be removed. Um, we know where that the ice keep is the center of this world. It's the part that we get told about anyway. One, two, three, four, five. And it tells us that we start out eight north of it and one west. And we wrapped around, so one. We found out five east was the furthest we could go. Ten west? Is that right? I don't think that was right. I think it's nine west. Anyway, uh, with some written down numbers, we'll start checking these values. Uh, I'm also curious how far north we can go, so I'm going to start heading north and see how far before the numbers wrap around. Okay, we're now five south, so the number's already wrapped around. So one more south, six south, to nine north. Okay, so... I'm going to switch back to the label tool, move this, change it to a nine. Going south, we can count one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one. And I don't know where I made a label if I made a one anywhere. It has me editing a label that's right there. Oh, because probably because I'm in keyboard mode. So I pressed enter. So north to south, it's nine plus six plus one so 16. i think i already decided that this is probably a 16 by 16 grid oh I, i'm in the wrong place good um yeah so it should just be a matter of bumping the grid align with the map or the map aligns with the line with the grid depending upon I'm not far from where the portal is so let's go check it yeah this is the portal and it's at 8 north and 1 west so that's right I guess I just moved one f further than I realized And this is, the nine is the wraparound, so this is the way it's supposed to be. I just had myself on the wrong spot on the map, I guess. Meanwhile, I'm dying of cold. Okay, I just was... I was just, uh, I had a mis I misunderstood my own position on the map, that's all. I probably pressed a key one too many times and forgot it. But um, one thing I noticed is there's a building over here. So I want to go there. Uh, 
Um, I also want to... Um, copy... I want to move these axes um, down. So that they're... Adjacent. Okay, I figured out why I keep screwing up. It's because when you deal with labels, you have to press enter to get out of the label. And then if you press enter again, you enter keyboard mode. And then things all work differently, and then you make errors. Or maybe some people are smarter than me and don't have this kind of problem. But I certainly why I was screwing it up. <laughs> uh, Come on, come on, no, not keyboard mode, oh god. Click on you, enter. Oh, and you can't make a label that's too near another label, but you can make one and move it back. Okay. So I'm at nine and one. And I'm facing, well, I'm currently facing east. I want to face west. Okay, and I'm going to turn and go to south. And there's a stone, oh, get back to stone mode, Keep my mode, whatever, get to be the selected item. Because there's a stone here and here, I just checked. Okay, now we can see the building, that was why I was headed this way. Stepping one forward, I can see this row of stones that I already marked. To the south, there's, and I stepped one forward, and there's a stone here, and I'm not sure if that one's back there. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But we do have a little building. This building's interesting to me in a couple ways. Uh, one is, you know, whatever, it's interesting. And the other one is, maybe I won't be freezing if I'm inside it. I think these stones are over there. We'll see. Okay, the small hut holds the utter cold at bay but the wind still whistles through the small cracks and the floor is covered with sparkling snowflakes. Seated at a desk, you see the frozen body of a man, perhaps a half-elf. The weather has, been, has not been kind to him, and he is, in effect, mummified, so you cannot tell how long he has been here. Despite that confusion about his body's condition, however, the gold wristlets and circlets he wears are styled after the fashion thought over 1,000 years old in your world. Hmm. On the desk you see, beneath a light dusting of snow, a book. Its pages are covered with a bold flowing hand that unfortunately turned into weakened and trembling writing. Even a brief glance at it leaves you with the impression this was the dead man's diary. Okay, so about the years, I'm still kind of confused because they say a thousand years old in our world. So does that mean that this place is the same place a thousand years ago? Or because like they keep talking about dimensions and stuff and I don't know if they're nearby or far away. But let's assume this is a local thing. Then I guess this is something in the distant past. So I don't know if we're going to change the future 
or what? Or maybe the future has already been changed and we need to fix it, I don't know. Let's read the diary. This may be long. You open the snow-covered diary and begin to read. The battle goes poorly, but that is as I would have predicted it. This time we have no hero like Hawkslayer to bolster our militia. Okay, so Hawkslayer has been here too. The first invasion, as the songs sing, would have succeeded but for Lanatier's vast magics. For some reason I thought this dead guy was going to be Lanatier, but I guess not. How cruel it is, then, that the invaders would have struck Lanatier down in their first attack. Without hero and god, how can we prevail? I'm going to infer that... Um, this may be wrong, but Hawkslayer is the hero and Lanatier is a sort of a god? I don't know. Okay, skipping along. I agree with my brothers that none of the monsters will penetrate... Lanatier's tomb, so his sphere and the wand of power are safe until claimed by those capable of piercing our wards. Okay, those are the things I, I want. I'd forgotten the name, wand of power, although I thought I had more of a name. And I guess they're stored away waiting for us. It was difficult in creating those wards. Powerful magic created them and only the proper spells can destroy them. Still. We do have hope that the foul army swarming our verdant plains will not breach the castle and threaten Lanatier's sepulchre. By the way, that's breach spelled like pants? More proofreading needed? <laughs> Can it be true that I, Alandar, alone made it to this remote point? A full dozen, we snuck through enemy lines and were prepared to cast a powerful spell designed to freeze our beloved home and destroy the Dark Ones. But that spell required at least four of us to cast safely. Can I do it alone? If so, at what cost? My life means nothing, but will Galidia be saved? It is done, and I die in the storm summoned to kill the foes. So cold, so numbly cold. Rest well, Lanatier. Your frozen home is my grave. So, um, I guess uh, a bunch of evil things were attacking this place, probably to take the artifacts, probably sent by Tarjen. It's weird having all this stuff already happened for a significant time period. So I guess maybe Tarjan's attacking everywhere at once, sort of, and we have to, like, swing by and realize we're too late everywhere. Um, obviously, we need to pierce a bunch of wards, get into a tomb, and take the stuff. On the bright side, we uh, don't seem to be freezing. So that means we can probably make pit stops in this building while exploring the snowy wasteland. Um, we, it seems like so far there's no restrictions on movement at all. Which means... Um, Covering the grid should be fairly straightforward. Like, we can just uh, do a pretty linear search. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Okay, uh, it's hard to tell.
Okay, so when we leave the little hut, which way are we facing? I assumed we would we would be facing the same way we came in. And maybe we are. Maybe I'm just dumb. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that so that first part was correct. And then I probably hit a cursor key instead of IGKL and confused myself. This is looking exactly like I thought it should. So from here... Okay, so, so far in this segment, everything is exactly as I thought it should be, according to my map notes. I guess I haven't fought at all since I uh, fixed my characters, so the speed of combat is all wrong. Okay, I'm getting a sense of how the stones map out. This is obviously 1, 2, 3 on the left and 1, 2 on the right, which maps to this right here. Um, what I see there is exactly what I expect. straight ahead. So, if this was just me on my own, I would probably map out every dang stone. But, I am recording this, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go 16 steps east, and then a step south. Although it's hard to keep track of how many steps you make when they keep putting you in combat, 
because um, some, you know, do your keystrokes get eaten or accepted? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. South. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. South. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Rogue is in danger of dying. I'm one north of the keep, so the keep should be soon. One, two, there it is. The Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And here we are at the keep. Can we come in from any side? Yes. Though I kind of want to finish with the keep's row on the map. So I basically know there is nothing beyond empty spaces and stones from here to here. We don't yet know about here to here. And I kind of want to finish this all at once. OK, I want to play a bard song, please. It's the running away from all fights. I sh I'm going to play a safety song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's like a little road here. Not that I'm following it. Three south. Four south. Six south is the limit. So I have now explored pretty much, well, I didn't, I didn't uh, completely get the top edge of the map. There's like a few spots I probably didn't walk, but I'm pretty confident that the only things in this world are the teleport spot in or chronomancer spot in, this hut and the ice keep. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, look, and everyone's dying because I'm not paying attention. Yo. 
Okay, so here we are in the ice keep. I'm gonna make this a separate region. Well, let's look inside. I'm actually sort of, well, that's really the key for me is, um, if it was a town, I would probably make it part of Glidia, but I know it's a dungeon. And the fact that it just said, please insert the dungeon disc was enough for me to decide I'm gonna make it separate. Ice keep. Oh, this time I got the low intensity by default. I don't know why. Okay, so again, I don't know how big it's going to be. I probably should you have a light spell running. <laughs> Amusingly, I get started not in the corner but one away from the corner. And I'm gonna say this region should have a ground floor. Because I feel like, I don't know, a castle should have a ground floor. <laughs> uh, where's that setting? has a ground floor. Okay, so... Um, this is definitely smaller than this grid, but I don't know exactly how much smaller. It's difficult to count here. I would estimate 12, something like that. We'll find out. Um, and I want an entrance icon. Whoa! Is not, I just painted a whole bunch of elevators. I don't know if there are going to be any elevators here uh, in the entire game. There's, there's the door I, icons. Entrance and exit are so surreal, like from a perspective. Is it an entrance or an exit? Maybe I'll make an exit this time. Okay, and let's zoom in so that people can see what the hell I'm doing. And I still I don't have a firm grasp on whether that uh, size of wall means two away or one away or but I should get a much firmer idea very shortly okay I guess correctly or remembered correctly this describes it as stairs going down for whatever it's worth I'm gonna imagine it as a grand entrance way. Uh, what does Skyside say? It says we're at the entry stairs. Of course, it doesn't tell us about our floor, it just tells us how far we are from the entry stairs floor. Okay, I'm gonna start actually fighting things now. Uh, I imagine Jack Frost is gonna do some kind of spell. I need to change my background bard song. So I imagine Cold Force is going to be far less effective here. I don't know if Night Lance is going to be less effective because it talks about, you know, having a, some kind of cold like effect. So the Ice Vipers breathe pretty nasty stuff.
They might um, just sit there at 20 feet breathing on me. Uh, but I don't really want to, with 151 hit points, take spend a round uh, stepping forward and getting breathed on again by all three of them. I'm never going to use this dynamite, so I'm going to use it now. I was planning to throw the Thor's hammer, but let's just use the dynamite. Uh, I don't. I'm going to attack a nice viper with uh, Elena. And how about we try a Godfire? Well, I don't know. We got a dynamite running. I'll just cast a healing spell on everyone. So I don't know why Dynamite would know to hurt the enemies, but not us. Five hundred damage, that's pretty good when it works, except it barely worked. Okay, so future no to future self. Um Dynamite is not useful against a small number of enemies. Use it against a large number of enemies. I think that's the first time we've seen Mind Jab. You'd think Mind Zap, Mind Blast would be stronger and therefore seen earlier. Oh, there was stairs near. It was telling us there were stairs in front of us. Speak your name's defender and speak your name defender and pass a friend. Okay, so I didn't take proper notes on what's his face in the hut. So I guess I'm going to start making notes about this quest. I got that, I got that, I got that. The Valerian quest is done. The Vilhasti quest is done. But the current quest is bring back Lanatir or Wand of Power and Lanatir Orb? Sphere? Sphere, I think? Okay, which devolves into... Well, I'm not going to write it down, but of course, but we found out Lanatier was dead. Um, uh, which means get items from Lanatier's tomb, which, as we were told, is going to require defeat. Or pierce various wards. That's what we know so far. We also have this thing, which is uh, determine mummy elf's name for stone guardian. I guess we can say Lanet here, but he doesn't like that answer. Pretty sure it's going to be. The mummy elves. And that is not from memory, it's just an assumption. Um, how am I gonna... So that's a note here. Stone... Guardian asks for name. I should have written down the exact thing. And I'm going to mark it like this. Here's just a message. Solid ice-laden walls of this massive castle. Help to hold savage storm outside. 
Even so, the keep is not warm, and the danger of frostly death stays with you even here. Okay, continuing to wander around this room. Should be using my sorcerer's sight to look for things. Three polar bears. They definitely fit with the icy theme. I figure I can just chop them up with my fighters and save spell points. I've been for, do I still have the Night Spear? So uh, one thing I probably didn't mention is, um, got Valerian's bow and the Arrows of Life, but we don't have them anymore. Lillian had them, and they're definitely not here now. When you come back to the old man, he takes them from you. He holds on to them. Um, I don't know what to say about that beyond that. So, But you can use them before you go back to him. Uh, so it's kind of... And I don't know if you can do games with, you know, choosing not to return them or... Some people, there's, it's possible to do item duplication with uh, character inventory tricks. And so you could make copies and use them. But I'm not doing that. <laughs> Probably because it's annoying, it's not needed. You know. I don't think that's how the game was intended to be played. So it seems clear that this um, stone guardian is the stairway, and we need to answer the question to go up or down some stairs. Presumably up, because these stairs were up. I mean, sorry, we went, these stairs are down, so we came up to come to this floor, so usually the game is consistent about this sort of thing. The dungeon goes up, it keeps going up. Anyway, uh, from, from here we couldn't see a spinner. From here we can, so it's three away. So it's here, one, two, three. But I'm gonna go up the left side first. Now we got a spinner here. Oh, not here. A uh, door on the right, and then a wall, and then a door. Wall, door, wall on the left. But what's to our immediate left and right? A wall and a wall. Let me go to the right first. The east. The first door. Okay, we have one of those little closet-like rooms. Oh, and I got a monster who offered to join me, but I was turning an Ellis turn, and I turn Ellis also leave it alone. I'm hopeful that we'll start getting new equipment because we're in a new world. I forgot about my proposal to not to have my not go through the trap disarming step. 
Another crystal sword. Uh, I looked up crystal sword. It uh, just does reasonable damage. Wizhelm, though, I think offers armor and utility. I don't remember the utility offhand. I suspect the utility is going to be something like Sorcerer's Sight. Which isn't very exciting, you know, I can already do Sorcerer's Sight. Where did it land? I thought it was on a caster. A better looting interface would be awesome. There's probably Grisnok and... Oh no, here it is. So, Wizhelm. Why does Lillian have such incredible armor class? What what happened there? Do the others not have the adamant, adamantium bracers? Oh, I, I have nothing equipped on this character. Maybe I was showing something and forgot about it? I, I don't know. That's that's sort of terrible. Do you stop equipping stuff when you die? That can't be right. I don't know. I must have been demonstrating something, or... I really don't know. Well, that's the reason she has way better armor class, is because she's actually wearing her equipment. I want to want to hand the Wizhelm back. Okay, equip this Wizhelm. Minus 11, minus 14. Yeah, I thought so. And I think I'm not going to be able to tell what it does. Fizzled. So, not Sorcerer's Sight, because that would have worked. And then I would have not have, still not have known what it did. Yeah, how did I end up with all, all these items unequipped? It's just oh, it probably when I edited my characters, it probably uh, didn't didn't uh, know about equipment. Like it probably just didn't bother with that. They they, they probably never fixed that bug. And by edited my characters, I mean lowered their level and their stats. <laughs> to be clear, to match what they should have been. Uh, polar bears and an ice viper. I wonder what the range of the ice viper's breath weapon is, because if it's 20 feet, my rogue can just take care of that. But they seem to be breathing now, so it's further than 20 feet. Or they're at 20 feet? I guess I'll find out in a moment. They're at it is at 30 feet. Is a soul whip enough to get rid of an ice viper? No. How about a mind jab? How much damage do I do in mind jab these days? Probably not that much because I just fixed my levels. Oh, by the way, uh, the Chronomancer spell Fade, I was thinking it was like invisibility, but no, of course, it's Far Death, which is a cr an instant crit against something up to, so according to the manual, 30 feet away. We can try it out. Hit for one, critting it.
So, are my bard songs stronger in this dungeon? I wonder. So, uh, Lillian's at minus four. And switch the armor song, minus 14. Okay, steam. Same bard song bracket as the last dungeon I was in. I really don't know how to read those furthest walls. Could they be doors or walls? I don't know. But I'm going to turn left. Door to the south. Little cup alcove to the north. Dead end to the north, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I can also sense a spinner somewhere up there. Cult mages. I suppose they're not the friendly kind of mages. And I'm just further suspecting that the cold spell doesn't work as well here, so I'm going to try Godfire on them. Um, I hit them. Not enough to kill them. One of them seemed to have taken half damage. Or they all took half damage, one took a quarter damage. How about Night Lance? How does Night Lance work on you guys? Not very well. And they summon friends. Okay, so. No more summoning friends for you. Uh, I think the solution here is, sorry, you're gonna come into melee range. It didn't work. Come into melee range, please. Had no effect. How is that? How is that a thing? How do you like Mind Blade? They, they are good at repelling. Or maybe I'm just not used to having the correct level of caster. I'll try this once more. Okay, so probably I should cast Melee Man generally with Lillian since he's level 13. Griselda is still being level 11. Now I will stab them, stab them to death.
Time to get rid of that figurine that I will never use. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of curious what kind of figurine it is. Wait. Oh, I passed it to the wrong party member. I'm still getting used to the fact that my thief is now four and not five, which is kind of a joke, because I think it's been the majority of the game now. A brother's figurine. Yeah, I don't want freaking brother's kingle. More ice vipers and cult mages. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to start off, I'm going to just probably be casting the healing song a majority of the time. I'm going to try Godfire on the Ice Vipers. Are they more susceptible to that? And Melee Men on the Cult Mages. So the Ice Vipers seem to be kind of weaker to fire, but um, they didn't die. Melee Men didn't work. Did work the second time. I forgot to use the song of You Can't Bring In Your Friends. So I'm using it now. That being drained for like 120 hit points is not my favorite. Especially when it's being used on someone with 280 hit points total. I have to say there's definitely a numerical inflation thing going on here. I mean, I don't know. I guess Bard still started out with kind of inflated hit points. Maybe I am being arbitrary about my idea of hit point anchoring. But... I was raised on basic and AD&D first edition D&D and uh, low level people had hit point totals like 10 and high level people had hit point totals like 60 <laughs> unless you were a total munchkin and uh, did all kinds of game abuse. In fact, once you hit level 9 or 10 or whatever, you, you so like you're if you were like a fighter, for example, your hit points tended to go up by an average of well, in basic 4.5 or in uh, advanced maybe something more like 6.5. Um so and but you might have some constitution bonuses. So maybe that would be like 7.5. So maybe by Level 3, you might have 18 hit points. Um, and that continued on up until level 9, where you might have, you know, 50 hit points or something. But after that, you only got a very tiny increment per level. Something like 2 per level. So if you became, you know, level... 20, you still only had like 80 hit points. Something like that, 70. Okay, so there's a spinner next, and there's a quiet zone ahead, which I can detect starting from here. So it's there. And to the right, there's an odd zone. 
which I can detect starting from here. Where's that flower I picked out? Maybe the flower is not really the right thing. I just couldn't come up with anything. Okay, that's our... our sorcerer's site cancelling zone. I'm just gonna wait until I face the door. Come on, spinner. Face the door, please. There we go. And it's actually about time where I should be stopping this uh, recording. So let's kill off these guys. I don't know what I should do with the ice demon. I think I'm going to ignore him for a little while, see what he does. Or frost demon or something. Blizzard demon, right. I was <laughs> using the same lizard picture. Um, I'm going to imagine the demon. I guess I'm going to cast anti-magic. Because I don't know what his spells do yet. He advances on his own, or she advances on her own, 10 feet at a time. Uh, demon's now in range for some spells, but I don't suspect it's going to go down to things like Soul Whip. Maybe I should try anyway. Meanwhile, my rogue is inching up to it. Repelled the Soul Whip. Uh, rogue attack and miss. How about if I put Ogre Strength on you, Elendor? Maybe you could eventually learn to hit things. I'm afraid to just march up to him, but maybe I should. The party freezes. Okay, he makes us lose our turn. And he can do some sort of like 100-ish attack. How deeply is my bard song stacked by now? Looks like to around... 70-ish? I guess in a nasty fight I might choose to far death this guy because of the freezing. It's kind of curious having your bard song stack so deeply that even when he does a very mean, even when you take a very nasty hit, if you can kill the enemy soon, you're going to get two, you know, instances of that song healing before the combat ends and it will all be fine. As long as no one dies. Okay, well the gems are starting to come in pretty significantly. And now that I'm actually using my mage staffs again, uh, 
Elendor and Griselda have a steady flow of spell points, so I may you start should start casting a lot. But for now, uh, I'm ending the session. This video. Uh, I'll see you in the future.